This short video provides a guide to preparing and submitting a hardware article to Hardware X. There are just three easy steps you need to follow. Step number one, upload your hardware design to an online location. HardwareX is an open access journal that supports easy replication of the hardware designs and overviews it publishes. If your article is accepted, the design files required to build your hardware must be available for readers to download and use. So the first step is to upload your hardware design files to an online location. There are a few ways you can do this. We recommend uploading them to one of the Hardware X approved public repositories. These repositories allow versioning of the files, which ensures readers can continue to access the version of the design files referenced in your article, even if you update them at a later stage. You'll find instructions on how to upload and maintain these files in the Journal Guide for Authors. Or you can pack your designs into a zip file and upload it with your manuscript. The designs will then be hosted alongside your published hardware article. Please note though, the submission system may be unable to accept large files. Not sure which route to choose? Uploading your designs to an approved repository means they will be immediately accessible. If you don't want to publicly share them before your article has been accepted, then we recommend submitting them to Mendeley Data as an embargoed document or directly alongside your submission. Step number two, complete the Hardware X submission template. It comes in several formats. You can find a link to them in the guide for authors. Choose between a Word document, open document text file, a LaTeX format. Hardware articles are unlike other article formats, so it's important that all the details required to understand and reproduce the designs is captured. The template helps us ensure that happens, which is why it's mandatory for all submissions. There are a couple of important points to bear in mind when you complete the template. Following these will increase your chances of acceptance. Your article should be written in standard English and be easy to understand. All details necessary to reproduce the hardware should be clearly communicated and made available under an open source license. This includes the bill of materials, build instructions, calibration procedures, source files, code, and safety considerations. Visual elements such as graphics, diagrams, tables and even videos are a great way to explain your hardware. Include them wherever relevant. Think about including a graphical abstract image to visually represent your work. And while this video contains some useful tips, do take time to read the detailed submission requirements in the guide for authors before completing your template. Each template field briefly explains the information required. It's important you follow the instructions for each of them, so let's look at them in closer detail. Your title is one of the pieces of metadata that will help readers find and use your Hardware X article. Do ensure it accurately reflects the article contents and keep it brief. 20 words should be the maximum. Do choose a unique title that hasn't been used before. If your Hardware X article is showing an instrument that has been used in an original research article, the title must differ from the title you've chosen for that research paper. Don't use acronyms or abbreviations. Most readers will use the abstract to decide whether the rest of the article is of interest to them. So this field is your opportunity to convince them to read on. Keep your abstract brief. Don't exceed 200 words. Don't provide conclusions or interpretative insights. And don't go into detail here about the practical steps involved in applying your designs. If you want to refer to a research article in which the hardware was used, do cite it here. Your 
choice of keywords is also important for article discovery. Try to think of all the relevant terms and phrases related to your topic and avoid repeating words used in your title. The specifications table is designed to provide a little more information about the research field and the hardware itself, including the type, cost and license details. If you've uploaded your design files to one of the public repositories we discussed in step one, please ensure you include a URL offering direct access to your files in the field Source File Repository. Hardware in context requires just a sentence or two. You should describe the purpose of your hardware and list similar tools. The field Hardware Description invites you to provide more detail about your original design or customization and its benefits compared to existing tools. We also ask for three to five bulleted points to help others in the research community understand how your hardware might help them. For example, does it reduce the cost or time involved in a particular process? Does it improve the accuracy of results or readings? Will a particular subset of researchers benefit? Is your hardware compatible with existing systems? If so, which? The design files section begins with a reminder that all files associated with your hardware article must be uploaded to an approved public repository or zipped and included as a supplementary file with your submission. In the case of figures, you can also embed them in the manuscript Information about your files is captured in the Design Files Summary table. For example, if you've included a figure in your manuscript, you should enter the name of that figure file, what type of file it is, what type of license you've chosen. Remember, all files associated with your article must have an open source license attached. And where that file is located, either the link to the file in a public repository or, if you're uploading it as supplementary material or embedding it in the manuscript, simply type in available with the article. Don't forget to list the primary design files that prompted you to write the hardware article. We also ask you to provide a brief description of each file. The table Bill of Materials is an essential guide to the costs involved in building the hardware. To provide editors, reviewers and readers with the full picture, we urge you to complete each field. The next two sections, Build Instructions and Operations Instructions, are also critical. Please do read the instructions carefully before completing them. Readers will use these texts to replicate your designs, so it's crucial your explanations are thorough, detailed and don't skip any relevant steps. The validation and characterization section offers readers the reassurance that the hardware actually works. You'll need to show how you've used your hardware in an experiment or in the field, explain the operational aspects of the hardware and how it performs. If possible, compare its performance to existing hardware. List the hardware's capabilities and any limitations. Captured your hardware in action on video? Great! Please include it with your submission. It's a great way to help readers visualise how it works. When the validation and characterization section is complete, make sure you declare any potential conflicts of interest or state that you don't have any if that's the case. And ensure you include a statement on ethical compliance if you've used any human or animal subjects. The final step is to add your references. And if you've uploaded your design files to an external repository, please ensure they are correctly referenced here. Make sure you delete all the author instructions in the template. These are the italicised blocks of text that appear next to each section name. You'll also need to delete the author manuscript checklist at the very end of the document but do read it first and double check you've met all the criteria. So now you've completed your template, we're ready for step number three, submission of your manuscript. 
Manuscripts are submitted via the Hardware X Editorial Manager Submission site, which you can access via the Submit Your Paper button on the left hand of the journal homepage. If you've uploaded your design files to an external repository, then in the Attach Files section on Editorial Manager, you'll need to select the file type Design Files, check the option that says URL URI External Resource, and enter the URL where your design files can be found. A quick note. The most common delay in publishing Hardware X articles is finding suitable and willing peer reviewers. So during the submission phase, we ask you to recommend five researchers that we can approach. If there are journals, conferences or organisations that potential reviewers may be associated with, we'd love you to include them too. Then it's simply a case of following the remaining submission system steps. One final thing to remember, if your design files weren't publicly available when you submitted your hardware paper for review, then please ensure you make them available on acceptance of your paper. If that results in any change to any URLs in the paper, it's important to update those too. We are delighted you've chosen HardwareX for your hardware article submission. Got a question or feedback on the submission process? We'd love to hear from you. And we look forward to receiving your hardware article.